crossed off the list. <coughs> just need to finish the main ECU harness. And then we need to do our instrument cluster wiring. So, kind of a mess of wiring still, but really shouldn't take me too long. I uh, just need a wastegate V band bolts. on the injector harness and this is actually the coil harness this is the injector harness getting all these pins done I'm gonna probably relabel just the pin for where they're going to be put into the ECU that way I can put the sheathing over these other than that this is all gonna be covered in your completion here. Oh, my wiring mess still. Got the harness tucked into the firewall again. I need to pull this through more, but oh, that looks pretty tidied up. Need to install my coils, but I'm setting it over to the exhaust shop now to get the uh, downpipe and the full exhaust made up. So this is our CAN bus wire. Um, we got a power and ground that actually can power up the ECUs, and then our can is actually the blue and the white, so we have can high and can low. So that guy, um, that wire actually will end up going, it's our wideband controller. So the wideband controller gets powered by those wires. Um, this actually you can, which is what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the other can from here 
over to the IC7 dash I have. I'll show you a video of that in a minute. <clears throat> so I'm gonna double check on this, but from what I'm seeing, since I have a 750 Elite, what I need to do actually is cut this, um, cut this wire, these wires off and pin them. And I need to, from what I can see, pin them into the main, um, the main harness here. You can see those two. Well, actually, there's three of them. One of them I'm not using. Um, so that's how that's all going to work. All right. So engine bay, pretty much. Well, it isn't pretty much done. It is done. Last night, kind of was just getting some stuff done, little things here and there. Um, messed with my plug wires, got all those set up. I had to, I created all these, so they were all, that's actually an ICT billet, as you can see there. Um, it's like an LS swap kit, so they come with long wires um, with the right ends. So I made this little bracket to kind of hold cylinders one, two, and three up, so they aren't close to the turbo. Kind of helps out a little bit. Might need to have to tighten up one a little bit, but it's okay, not too bad. Four, five, and six are far enough away. I'm not super worried about those. So all the coils ended up over here. Got these little markers for them just because I rode on these to figure out which coils were which. And then as long as it's running and everything works properly, I'm gonna leave these on, clean off all the markings there. Got our wideband O2 here. That just goes right down in here. Injector harness. Coil harness just kind of sitting there right now, which I'm not really worried about. I think that'll be fine. Um, all the wires go through the firewall, kind of like factory, so that's looking good. Um, <clears throat> so this changed a little bit from when you guys saw it last. I had the downpipe fabricated um, by a, a local fabricator. And if you look down, kind of down there, if it'll focus see the wastegate is actually not going to be a screamer pipe um, I opted just to have them route it into the exhaust just for noise but he ended up um, he asked me if I wanted him to weld a couple of the pipes up I told him go ahead to do it so he welded a couple of these up kind of cleaned it up a little bit it would have worked but took a little bit of length out of the piping as well which is nice. All came together good. It's all mounted there. So, pretty happy with how that turned out. Spent a little bit more than I wanted to, but it is what it is. So back inside the car, um, like I said, I'm not super happy with how the wiring is right now. Um, I do plan on cleaning it up. But at the same time, it's one of those things where if everything works, I'm probably not going to mess with it too much. I'll probably just kind of zip tie some looms together. Uh, maybe strip a couple of the wires that are just kind of mangled and not needed. Um, those are all the relays for the ignition coils. There's two relays and then um, per, one per bank. And then for the, it's for the Mac valve. I haven't ran off of a relay off the same trigger just because I didn't have a, a nice easy B plus to go from. So I just ran off another relay. It's easy enough to do. And some fuses there. Um, those orange wires go to a few fuses for the coils as well. All that's looking okay. Um, so with the 750, you're very limited on your inputs and outputs, which is kind of why it's like the entry level one. So with that being said, for safety, I ran my pressure sensor. So I got that, um, that pressure temperature sensor at two and one, um, but I didn't have enough inputs. So I'm actually running the temperature sensor. Um, I soldered a wire and I'm running all the way behind the dash. That's gonna go over to the cluster because you can run more inputs on the IC7. So. You just can't, you won't have as like a fail safe, um, which is why I'm running temperature over there because if there's a, if it hits like a pressure fail safe where it hits like the lower threshold, um, I'd like it to shut the car off. So 
with temperature, I'm not as worried about that. That's something I can monitor um, through the dash. So that's kind of why I'm choosing to do that. So I got a couple more wires to solder behind the dash. Okay. This is the IC7 dash, a little dusty. Um, I set it up in the IC7, or I think it's called the ICC software. The Heltex website, you can download that. Um, so this is all it is. I have the bezel as well, so it'll fit like factory mounting, so it'll look nice and clean. So I'm gonna run the CAN bus wire. I already got it all set up over there. So now I'm gonna run the CAN bus wire. So it plugs right into the ECU. I'm gonna run that across behind there, plug it into the wideband controller. I don't know if this is still a thing, but I know on some cars, if your car is not properly set up when you plug everything in, you can blow up your coils um, if it's not all ready to go. Like I said, I don't know if, how true that is or how often it happens, but I'm playing it safe here. All right. So first I'm already connected to the um, IC7 here. Let's see. So I'll start with the IC7. I'm just going to load this up. That should start up. So during the first initial um, setup, a bunch of the stuff was set up. You can hear the fuel pump priming. Um, currently just got the factory pump in there. When I get time today, I'll put my 255 pump in it. But um, overall, things are looking good. I'm not seeing fuel leaks, anything like that. So All right, I got it loaded up here. This is one I built. Um, just based off of the one, one of the defaults over here, it's kind of put in what I wanted. So you just kind of can click on each one, decide which, you know, what you want each individual thing to display. So for, for example, if I click on this, I'll pull this up and you can select pretty much anything you want that your ECU is reading. So most of that's transmitted through the CAN bus. However, there's one thing which is going to be my oil temperature down here that actually um i can show you the actual readings here so there's battery voltage oil temp is is errored out right now it's at negative 460 coolant temps accurate right now in phoenix here it's about 100 a little bit of fuel pressure 28 psi it's kind of bleeding down um my level sensors have not been um, properly set up yet, so don't worry about that. But pretty much that's what it's looking like. Another thing, I don't know if I mentioned or not. So I got this generic bulb socket and bulb um, to wire in. So essentially the way these alternators work is they almost need like an exciter or something within the circuit. And that built-in part would be um, the bulb that actually is in your cluster. So by running in a cluster like this IC7, you do need to actually wire in a bulb from the two wires. So I got those soldered in here. Um, but that's why this light's on, because essentially that's like the battery light just sitting there on. Um, from what I've understood from the wiring diagram. So essentially that's kind of why that's on um once this starts in, in theory it should be turning off so we'll kind of see how all that plays out because i don't want the light on behind the dash all the time so as long as my theory is correct it should be off when it's sitting back there so i just got this socket and bulb from autozone a few bucks got a nice new battery in here too for as we get closer, um, that's going to wrap up our video though today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm just going to keep on going with all the, all the stuff I have. We're getting really close. First start is scheduled, finishing up the wiring, needing to exhaust, all sorts of stuff coming soon. 
Drill bitches broke. It's been a real good time.